hey y'all what's up how y'all doing first of all thank you for watching miss angelique tv where we talk about everything and when i mean everything i mean like new scenery <laughs> new background at least for this video i'm gonna be drinking my smoothie and eating my sushi at the same time because i haven't eaten today yet and i'm starving um if you see me looking down it's because i have my phone right here and i wrote a couple of notes or whatever to be able to i think i should turn my car off yeah, I'm gonna turn, my, this down, turn this damn car off. Hopefully none of my neighbors give me any um, weird ass looks because I'm quick to catch your attitude and I'm quick to ask you who the fuck you looking at. Before we get started, I am eating sushi. If y'all don't have a Kroger's next to y'all or by y'all, I don't know what to tell you, but they sushi be so good. And I don't eat like sushi, like the raw sushi or anything like that. I don't do that shit. But I do eat this shit. If you have like crab meat, this one have like. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Cream cheese. Where the fuck is cream cheese at? I shouldn't even looked at these ingredients because now I'm trying to figure out what the fuck the cream cheese is. How the fuck you have cream cheese with sushi? It's been a minute, and y'all know it's been a minute. These last couple of months been kind of weird <laughs> i didn't got sick probably like three times within the past month or so right now i'm dealing with allergies because the freaking weather is changing so i've been sneezing like crazy i ain't got no covid bitch but let's just go ahead and get into it but go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if this is your first time seeing me hey hello how are you it's nice to meet you and have a seat because you want to be a part of the family you want to be a part of the team uh, my mom y'all know she was released from jail october 4th no October 3rd, actually. I do have cream cheese in here. I like cream cheese, but I don't know how I feel like cream cheese and sushi. I think I got the wrong one, bitch. <sighs> Let me just try this shit real quick and make sure it looks good before I start talking. <clears throat> mm -mm. I don't see how y'all be talking and doing these videos at the same time. I'm in my car. I'm in my car because I have no peace in my house, especially during this time. Like right now, well, he probably up right now, but whenever I left the house, um, my baby was asleep, so they just real, real clingy, y'all. So I really never have peace and quiet unless it's nighttime. I was supposed to record yesterday, but that didn't work out because we're going to get to there. Life sucks. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Life don't suck. It's just mental health is fucking real. Mental illness will make you feel like your world is crashing down when it's really not and that's how i've been feeling lately but we're gonna get into me towards the end of this video but before we talk about me um if i like my black and mild i won't hear shit in the comments about it because i'm by myself i ain't got no kids around me this is my me time right now like even though it's us time because we talking but it's still my me time so this is what i do whenever i'm by myself sometimes because i bitch be stressed out first thing that i want to talk about is my mom my mom has been out of jail for over a month now she was released october 3rd as y'all know, if you don't know, now you know. She's been out for a while and everything has been really, really good. She's doing great health-wise, taking her medicine. Whenever she was released, they sent her home with like two weeks of medicine plus another prescription for like a month's worth or some shit like that. So, what she has, like before she, before she was even released, my grandma was already getting that shit set up for her. She was setting up her doctor's appointments. I'm so thankful for her, like really, because if my mom would have had to came and stay with me, I don't really think it shit would be as smooth, honestly, because I have so much going on. My life is at home, like everything. I work from home, my kids at home, I gotta cook at home, I gotta clean out, everything is fucking at home. Sometimes the shit feels like jail, okay? My mama and my grandma also came out here to Houston, like this second or third week of October to visit us and mom set of kids for the first time well saw junior and baby g for the first time because you know she hadn't seen them like ever 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 my aunt stays across the street from me like in the other neighborhood so um we ended up going over there and we had a seafood boil and it was really really nice they only stay here for the weekend but it was really really nice and then that weekend my stepdaughter and my niece their birthdays are around the same time so over here in this household if your birthday in the same month as somebody else's you having your shit with that person like i don't give a fuck we did it together and my mom and my grandma everybody came and we celebrated or whatever so it was really good it was really nice i was so happy to see her i'll post some pictures as well um because we did like a mini family photo shoot of like me my grandma my aunt the kids and all that type of shit so it was really cute other than that like my mom is on her medication she's taking 
taking her medication every single day. I talk to her every day. Like, we talk every time I get off of work. Either I call her or she calls me. And it's been like that since she got out of jail. Like, I talk to her every single day since she's been out. And it's really, really good. Like, y'all remember how I told y'all I felt um, before she got out? Like, I was a little scared, having a little anxiety about it, not really sure. I was kind of dreading it. But the fact that I know she's in, she's controlled i'm really proud of her i'm really proud of her and thank y'all for the ones who did write in um, my mom's uh, card I, I still haven't sent it to her i still haven't given this to her yet because y'all i've really been in a uh, mood that we're going to talk about i'm trying to hurry up and get past through this so that this video is not super super long but we're going to get to me in a few she's um saw her regular primary care doctor she also saw a psychologist um which he scheduled her for therapy she's going to be taking therapy or going to therapy i don't know how often but i know it's going to start in december sometime so whenever she told me that i was really excited for her because i really feel like she needs therapy like bitch i honestly i need therapy myself but like for real on her end like she really needs therapy and the fact that she's doing it it makes me feel so good because it's just like yeah like she's doing what she needs to do to get better and it just makes me feel so good as a child about my mom like to know that my mom is like not out here strung out or not out here you know living with no random people and getting herself into bullshit so that makes me feel really really good she also applied for her disability she had her disability appointment even though she's gonna take three to nine months for her to figure out if she's approved like what the fuck like i knew it took a while but three to nine months i've never heard of that never heard of that but i'm pretty sure it's normal uh, let me know is it normal for y'all i mean is it normal y'all states for the disability to take that long because she's in louisiana it's different in every state honestly but three to nine months bitch like what the fuck like oh my god and then she got these damn probation fees which was due the first month that she got out so now we they're giving her some more time to do it but i'm just like how the fuck y'all give somebody who just got out of prison fees to pay the same month and they ain't got no job like y'all like what but i guess that's what family is here for so we're gonna figure it out the last thing that was kind of scary but resolved is whenever she first um got out of jail she went and met with the probation officer and stuff like that to check in and to tell them where she was staying and this and that and y'all know my mom had to register as a sex offender now, whenever you're registered as a sex, sex offender, you can't stay anywhere, bitch. You can't live no anywhere. You can't stay um, a certain mileage away from schools, daycares, you know, shit like that that involve like playgrounds, parks, I think. Shit that involves kids, pretty much. It was discovered that my grandma lived a couple of ways from a daycare. So they were saying like they didn't know if it was going to be approved and stuff like that. So pretty much they had to set a court date for my mom to see a judge to like go in front of the judge. Let them know like, hey, I don't have nowhere to stay. This is my only place to stay. Can I please stay here? Type of shit, basically. Well, they quickly actually gave her a court date, which was so weird because I'm, you know, well, I mean, COVID damn near over, bitch. So I, I don't know why I'm surprised. But y'all know how COVID been slowing shit down. But they didn't slow that shit down, bitch. They gave her a court date right away. Well, not right away, but like within a week or so um, time frame of her um, discovering that she was too close to daycare. And her court date was um, October 27th, which is last week, I believe. I was so nervous, y'all. I was so nervous. I was praying, though, because I'm just like, Lord, like, you know what we need. You know, like, she ain't got nowhere else to go. We can't send her nowhere. Like, what? Like, what are we going to do? Help us, Lord. Thank God the judge approved my mom to stay where she was staying at with my grandma. She can't be on social media. Like, cannot be on social media, which I was so surprised. But then again, I'm not. But then again, I am. I mean, I've never had to experience anyone registering as a sex offender. And by the way, if you're confused as to why my mom is dealing with this, that means you a new subscriber or that means you ain't been watching my story. So, I'm going to need for you to after this video or really what you need to do is pause and then go to the videos and then get back to this because that's gonna give you all the tea okay but yeah i was so thankful to god that he made it work out to where she didn't have to move because my grandma honestly was gonna was thinking about moving if she had to because like we know that we don't want my mama living with nobody else we know that we don't want my mama being in nobody's shelter we know we my mom needs us like 
point blank period my mama needs us as much as we want her to be on her own like right now she can't obviously so she needs us and uh, my, my grandma was ready to fucking move and i was surprised because I, I didn't think she would because my grandma hasn't even been in the house for she hasn't been in the house for a year now let's get to me bitch because me bitch i don't even know what to tell y'all what to explain how to even start with me bitch i've been broke and i mean financially i mean physically i've been broke okay i've been broke as fuck i don't know what i need an operation a revelation i've been down and out in a sense and let me just start from here let me just start with this september my husband got sick well it all started with my stepkids um they got sick uh, obviously we got sick my kids got sick. I got a lot of kids in my house, okay? Um, my niece, my nephews, they, they live with me. And, you know, I have my stepkids. They come every other weekend and shit like that. So, we just have a revolving circle of a lot of kids in our house. I got nine kids in my house on a daily basis, just about, almost. Shit been tough, you know, with this whole weather shit and all that. The kids went back to school. They're not doing online school anymore. They're back to school. So, you know, they bring home germs and shit. Um, luckily ain't nobody catching no COVID or anything like that, so that's good. But it's been tough because I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of getting these fucking $25 ass COVID tests because my anxiety ain't sitting right with me. I'm sick of it. Like why you why we can't just be fucking sick and peace no more? Why can't have a motherfucking sniffy nose and peace? Why can't sneeze in public no more? It's really ridiculous. And I can't believe I'm living in this world. I can't believe I'm living in this time right now. Like my kids, they always out of school. They always got days out of school just for no fucking reason. I am. I don't remember having these many days out of school whenever I was out of school. So shit has been really, really weird. Me personally, y'all, I've been dealing with this with what I'm getting ready to tell y'all for months. So boom, I've been peeing a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all that I've been peeing like motherfucking horse bitch i've been peeing more than a pregnant woman i've been peeing like a fetus doing a motherfucking crip walk on my bladder or some shit because girl not only have i been peeing a lot but i've also been cramping all throughout the month even when i'm not bleeding y'all know i'm on the iud i've been on the iud for over a year now so i don't really know why all of a sudden i will be having these issues because of the iud but um i went to the doctor because i was tired of it i was sick and tired of it so um I went to two doctors. I went to my primary care, and then I went to my OB. Primary care wanted to figure out if I got diabetes, which they don't think I got diabetes because I did a diabetes test earlier this year. Everything came out came back clear. The doctors don't think that you know I'm just gonna randomly get diabetes that quick, but you know they just be saying shit. And she was like, maybe you have overactive bladder. I um, mean, then I'd be nauseous all day, every day for no reason. Um, I'd be having a headache. I've been dealing with a lot. And I don't know if it's because of me. Whenever a person is not in the right spot in life, like all type of problems start to occur. And that I don't know if that's why, because I really haven't been in the right spot mentally, y'all. And I don't understand why, because literally nothing in my life is going wrong. Like I'm doing so good. My family is doing so good. Everybody is doing good except me in the inside. Like, I, I, I don't know, maybe I feel like I'm in a routine that I, I don't like being in a routine. I work from home, which I've been working from home since 2015, so that ain't nothing new. I would not trade that in the world. But it's just the fact that I'm just seeing the same four walls every fucking day. Anytime I leave the house just to go to the store or to run some errands real quick, just to do shit that adults do. I don't go out. I barely have friends. Um, and the friends that I do have, like, they don't ask me to go out. And, you know, if they do, we don't end up keeping the plans for whatever reason. Because I feel like I need to do more with myself. Every single time I try to record, I just lose the energy to record. Like, last night, or yesterday, rather, while I was at work, I did my makeup purposely so that I wouldn't have to worry about doing it later because I knew I had to cook that day. So, I did my makeup while I was at work. Um, I cooked after I got off work. And I'm like, okay, bet. I'm just about to cook and do this fucking video i ain't got shit else to do but girl it's just like whenever i started preparing to do this video last night because i was gonna do this video in my house you know how i do it i was gonna do this video with my regular setup but then i just started feeling this urge not to fucking do it and i know it's my depression and i have not been on medication for a while because I've been okay if something wrong with you if you feel like you need medicine take that shit bitch don't follow my footsteps I have been okay up until this last month or so without medication like well 
maybe a month or two ago I found, found myself taking my anxiety medicine a little bit more frequent but I haven't really been taking that lately so I've been okay with that although my anxiety had been you know triggered a lot but I mean that's what happens whenever you got all these kids like of course my three-year-old don't fucking listen until his daddy get up and start saying shit so I feel like he think I'm a joke my one-year-old same shit he followed behind the three-year-old he don't fucking give a fuck like these these kids don't give a fuck you know like these toddlers brother these toddlers don't give a fuck about you it is what it is they're just about to fuck some shit up and that's that you know what i'm saying you just gotta fucking deal with it and i've been dealing with it you know like what else am i supposed to do not deal with it like, it's been tough it's been tough because i just feel like i have no no room for me i feel like i have no space for me i feel like i could push through it more than i have been but the fact that i just feel depressed is what's been stopping me from pushing through. Whenever I went to my doctor's appointment, the OB doctor's appointment, you know, they do the well woman exam and stuff like that. The bitch found a goddamn lump in my titties. How? I barely got titties. Like, how, bitch? <laughs> then my fucking camera cut off and I don't even know where I stopped. A lump in my titties. Like, not just one, but like a couple of, like maybe three. And I'm just over here laying on this doctor's bed thinking like, how? How, doctor? I barely got titties. How? Let me know how I got a lump in my titty. I was a little bit confused. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. You know, but I guess it happens. It don't matter if you got titty meat or not, bitch. Obviously. Of course, she was just like, yeah, I want you to go get a mammogram or whatever. So, two weeks later, I go get a mammogram. I got footage as well. I was, I, I've been vlogging low-key, but not low-key because it ain't been consistent so throughout this video y'all gonna see different clips okay um but yeah i went to my mammogram appointment y'all it was real cute like you know they had you had a little robe or whatever they gave you to put on it was a warm robe on top of that i was like oh bitch she's like bitch do you want a warm robe and i'm just like bitch hell yeah like the fuck that's dope as fuck like I, i've heard of warm blankets and shit but bitch warm robes like you can't beat that so it was real cute they had like snacks or whatever in a little waiting area while you wait for your you know lady to say come on let's do the shit or whatever so i got back there and you know had to take my shit out and she had to do a little thing or whatever she did a little shit oh at first it was the ultrasound it was ultrasound first and then if they found something then it was gonna do a mammogram so I got through the ultrasound and then she was like, okay, I'm gonna have the doctor come in here and let you know if they wanna move forward with the mammogram. So I'm like, okay, cool. And y'all, I was real scared at first because I'm just like, it, it's, it's crazy because <laughs> whenever the doctor told me she felt something, like that day, when she told me she felt something, like for the past week and a half, up until I got my mammogram, that same titty that she claimed that she found something in was just hurting, like it was just hurting. I don't know if it was just my mind, my nerves, or what, but bitch, she was just hurting. And I'm just like, bitch, if I got cancer, girl, all the police, because I ain't gonna make it. Thankfully, after I got my little um, ultrasound done, the doctor came in and was like, girl, you good? Like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with you. It was like, it was just a part of your rib. And I'm just like, damn. So you gonna tell me I'm that flat chested that. She thought a lump was a rib. Like, just go ahead and tell me, bitch, you ain't got no titties, hoe. Like, why are you here? That's what basically what she should have just told me. But uh, it was good to just, you know, um, clear that out because I have been thinking about getting a boo job. I really have been thinking about getting a boo job, but I haven't thought about it. But just know if one day you see me pop up and my titties out, just know I did the whole thing, okay? <laughs> but I'm so glad that that didn't go the way that I thought it was gonna go because I was scared as fuck. So thank God for that, thank God. That's really it outside of me being depressed. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and make me an appointment because the reason why I stopped taking my medication a year ago is because I was on so different, so many different medications. The shit made me sick. I all, always, I already was having appetite issues and I still really do. Like I, I don't have an appetite all the time. And when I do have to have an appetite, I have to eat right then and there. If I wait an hour, bitch, I ain't gonna be hungry no more. And I'm gonna have to build my appetite up back again. So yeah, I, I was just on so many different medications. They even put me on medication to help me with my appetite. That shit was making me moody, me, making me feel like I was bipolar as fuck. I was real, real snappy on motherfuckers. So 
I stopped taking that and I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna starve. Like, I'd rather starve than to be flipping on motherfuckers and people at, looking at me like I'm crazy when, like, this ain't my fault. I've really just been in a point in my life where I don't really know what to do because I, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like I had to quit my job. <laughs> I ain't much gonna lie to y'all. I feel like I had to quit my job. I feel like it, in order for me to feel good, in order for me to feel successful, in order for me to have this this time that I feel like I'm missing, I gotta quit my fucking job. And ain't no way I'm quitting my job because I'm like my money and I don't like depending on nobody. Obviously, I would have to depend on my husband. And I don't know, like some of y'all could do that, like the whole stay at home, mama shit. But me, bitch, I can't do that. I'd rather go part time before I go. Uh, no job at all because I just I don't know it's just something about somebody else doing something for me I just can't and my husband gets on me about this all the time because I be out here fucking spending my credit cards and shit whenever I shouldn't because we trying to build our credit and I be spending my credit cards on some things and be like why you spend your credit card and I just be like because like I we needed so and so he's like well why you ain't just take my card and I just be like because that's your money I know I shouldn't be like that because obviously I'm married, but it's just like it's so hard for me to depend on anybody And that's why I ain't quit my fucking job, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna figure it the fuck out because last night was ridiculous Like that should been that should have been no reason why I did my makeup and stood and record like I legit Was getting ready to record and I said fuck it I put my bonnet on makeup on still on and everything and I took my lashes off and I said I'm going to sleep and that's what the fuck I did but this morning I woke up and I'm like nah let me just go ahead and redo it I gotta like it's like whenever the day starts over it's like I feel like I have an, a, a clean slate like it's a new day so let me just start over like don't do well on the past like, don't just sit in your shit just fix it and so that's what I'm trying to do so pray for me y'all really really pray for me because it's been super super hard for me to really just stay focused and to just do whatever i want to do i've been doing youtube for fucking way too long i've been doing youtube for 10 years 10 fucking years bitch 10 years how why am i still in this point in my life like why am i still here and i know it's about consistency i know it is about consistency so far i make this video too motherfucking long for me to want to edit I'm trying to stay focus youtube makes me happy working does not make me happy i love my job like this new job that i've been working working with since february this year i love it good pay good co-workers my boss amazing anytime i need the day off for whatever reason they're good they work with me like it's i don't feel like a slave like i felt whenever i was working for progressive you know my last job if y'all don't know now you know i used to work for progressive insurance from home and bitch i don't recommend i don't recommend don't fucking recommend because like I ain't got time to be arguing with motherfuckers I don't I really don't and with this job that I do right now I don't they're really not angry customers I normally don't get the angry customers and if I do I'm transferring them to another department because bitch that's outside of my department honey yeah y'all that's it I'm gonna wrap this up let me know which how y'all feel about these car videos because I be seeing y'all do these car videos like other people do these car videos and I be thinking to myself like no I can't be in a car like ain't nobody gonna fuck with me anybody gonna watch this shit I'm in a car but motherfuckers be out here legit doing car videos be sitting in a car eating and shit and me I'm worried about a fucking setup that's another reason why I don't record as often because I'm such a perfectionist like it gotta be quiet first of all I have to have a quiet environment I have to have a clean environment everything gotta be right I did a whole story time in my car for y'all a month ago I started editing it and I stopped because I felt like I just looked trash. I didn't like the way my appearance was. I felt like I just looked like I got out the bed. And really, honestly, I did really just get out the bed. But I was trying something new. I was like, shit, I don't have to have makeup on every single video. It's about how it makes me feel. I just need to keep it simple and stop stressing myself out about these, these things. So, that being said, y'all, pray for a bitch. Send me encouraging words. DM me. I don't know. Let me know your story. Let me know how you got out your depression. Like, let me know because it's absolutely no reason why I should be depressed right now. Everything is good. I can't express how good everything is. Like, my marriage is good. My marriage been good. I ain't never had no issues with my marriage. My kids are healthy. Everything is good. And I'm just over here like, <laughs> Angelic Touch Cosmetics. I'll be saying some of y'all, my subscribers really be purchasing it. I'll just be like, wow, y'all like a bitch. I love y'all so much. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.